Congratulations. Now you'll have to carry a stick around to keep the women off you. Oh, come on, Mavy. Quit finding me. What do you need? Well, Pug and I used to hang out sometimes, but I haven't seen him for a while. I heard he's gotten a job of some kind. He doesn't work very often, and he usually sleeps in a box down by the Snow White warehouse. Following Beak's instructions, I hang around the warehouse. Not long after, a gust of wind carries a horrible stench into my nasal passages. I turn and see a shadowy figure waddle into the alley. The way you look at me, it makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, Pug. I'm here for a friendly chat. You mean, you're not here to hurt me? <laughs> now, why would I want to pound on you, little buddy? Oh, no reason. I guess I thought you were someone else. I must be going now. Listen, I brought my gun. I don't fire as many warning shots as I used to. This talk of guns has frightened me. I think I have soiled myself. You know, I don't care what you think. Because right this second you've got one foot in the grave, and the other's on a big fat banana peel. Yes, and what the right do I have to think? You despise me, don't you? Please don't kill me. Usually I wouldn't think twice about punching out a two-bit crook like you. But you just get my knuckles all grimy. Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of criminal? Because I can't justify treating you like a lady. You're a cynical person, if you'll forgive my saying so. Who, me? Cynical? What a load of crap. Now give me my wallet before I break you in half. Here's your wallet. You will see I have spent very little of your money. Tell me, how did you find me? Well, you're pretty sneaky, but someone saw you rob me. They also said you were tailing me. I was hired to follow you. I provide people with information through ways of my own. <laughs> people actually hire you? <laughs> Who's the sap that had you following me? I was hired by an old P.I. who called himself the Colonel. He paid me to follow you and report back on everyone I saw you talk to. He also wanted me to tell him if I saw you with a little statue of a bird. He told me very little else, though he said that he had to find out if you could be trusted. There! I have told you everything I know. Now let me go, and I shall not bother you again. The Colonel was my mentor in the detective biz. When I was a young, idealistic crime fighter, I didn't understand some of the Colonel's unethical PI methods. I reported the Colonel to the PI licensing board and his license was temporarily revoked. In the years since, I've come to understand and even occasionally use the Colonel's questionable methods, but we've never made up. I haven't seen the Colonel's office since we fell out 15 years ago. From the look of the exterior, the Colonel's kept it up nicely. I knock on the door and it swings open. The place is trashed. Uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. <coughs> Maybe permanently. My God, what happened? Who did this to you? A chameleon. Some kind of shapeshifter. I swear it's the devil himself. What did he want? Why did he attack you? Oh, he thought I had it. When he found out I didn't, he tried to torture me and to tell him where it was. And he got impatient, stuck a knife in my chest. I must have passed out. I ain't enough sleep last night. Well, what was he looking for? I had a winter chip. Cult wants it. They're planning a doomsday party. They're afraid whoever's got the chip might stop them. 
You're gonna have to find it and get it to Capricorn. Yeah, they know what to do with it. <sighs> but I don't know where to look. You gotta give me some help. Uh, there's no time. There's a disc by the bookcase. It's got information on that winter chip. Don't fail me, Tex. I hope to God you've learned something after all these years. <sighs> I fly the colonel to the hospital and the attendants rush him into surgery, but won't tell me what his chances are. I know I should go and search the colonel's office for the disc he referred to, but I'm having a hard time keeping my eyelids popped open. I decide to go back to my office for a couple of hours of shut-eye. As I open the door, I catch a whiff of expensive perfume, then feel my jaw slam into a brick wall. When my vision clears, I'm seated across from a beautiful oriental woman, with matching goons on either side of me. Good evening, Mr. Murphy. Please, have a seat. Gee, thanks. My dogs are really tired. Yes, you've been very busy, haven't you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Eddie Chin. Well, I don't believe I've had the pleasure, Miss Ching. That's not totally true, is it? You've had the pleasure of visiting my apartment. I have learned that you were hired to steal a statuette for my apartment. I admire the skill you display in doing so, but I must now ask you to return the bird to me. Thanks for the compliment, but I don't have your stupid bird. Someone stole it from me after I left your place. You'll just have to run down to Goodwill and get yourself a new one. It's gone? You imbecile! Have you no idea what you've done? You were set up. The person who hired you belongs to a group so powerful, they may hold the fate of the world in their hands. The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. to give these fanatics the talisman they need to lose the demons of hell upon the earth. Oh, please. You really believe all that satanic mumbo-jumbo? You obviously don't understand what I'm saying. With the statuette, the cult will fulfill its prophecies, unleashing an unimaginable flood of destruction. The prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled in six days. If the statuette is not recovered before then, nothing will matter. We'll all be dead. You mean to tell me the world is going to end on Thursday? Damn it! I don't get my unemployment check till Friday. The cult knows about me. They tried several times to steal the statuette once they learned I had it. They will not allow me or my operatives to obstruct their plans. You, however, they do not consider to be a threat. The cult is behind the crusade for genetic purity. I don't know any more than what I've told you, except for the identity of the man who set you up. He is known as the Chameleon. If you can find him, you will be within reach of the statuette. You should realize that your blunder makes you responsible for ten billion lives. Hope for your own sake that you can succeed where more powerful people cannot. Let this be a reminder to you not to repeat your mistakes. If you fail, I will see you in hell! So, did he have the chip or not? I never found out. My usual methods of persuasion weren't working. So I had to get a little more forceful. Next thing I know, his light squad. I think I killed him. Dead men don't help us. We've got to find out about that chip. If the colonel didn't have the chip, then he probably sent it to Murphy. Stick around and keep tabs on him until the last second. But don't kill him. If the chip doesn't show up, make sure Murphy doesn't blunder into our path. If you find the chip, destroy it. Then you can do what you want with Murphy. <laughs> <laughs>